they spell a word. An off season or a non-conference test for these two teams, Central Catholic and Camby on the Oregon Sports Beat. Happy to have you along with us. Chris Clayton here with Ben Efren, where we see a matchup that's going to be a big test in this one for Canby in particular, as the Rams come into this game two and one and top ten in the states. Ben, this will be a great litmus test for Canby to see where they're at and for Central Catholic an opportunity to stay sharp here early on. Yeah, Camby's got their hands full, but uh, we'll see what kind of composed effort they can put forward. Central Catholic, certainly uh, a lot of class on uh, that side of the ball. Strong tradition of uh, putting out a pretty good team and, uh, and state rankings. Yeah, it's a Central Catholic team coming off an impressive win on Saturday, winning at West Albany by a score of 2-0 in that one. Who? By the way, West Albany is uh, number five in the state at the 5A level in that coaches poll. They made it all the way to the state title, so an impressive win for the Rams on Saturday. For Canby, their last outing was back on Thursday against another powerhouse in Aloha, the number three ranked team in the state. They lost that one 6-0. For Central Catholic, it's a Rams squad that Went through some injuries last year. Made it all the way to the state quarterfinals before losing 3-0 to Jesuit. But we were talking to Rams head coach Chris Palmer before this match, and he said they went from 22 players down to 12 towards the end of the year with all the injuries they put up with. Yeah, unbelievable stroke of, of, of bad luck with that and such young players. You really don't want to see injuries at any level, but it's hard to, to see a high school team decimated like that. Yeah, he's, he's confident in this year's squad. He said, our players feel like it is our year. We'll see if CC can get it done. They're 2-1, only losing 
to McKay so far in a close match. And we're underway. And can be in possession. And there are white kits moving left to right in front of us. And an early turnover goes over the touchline. Yeah, Camby's going to have to settle their nerves and, uh, and compose themselves. They've got a big test here with Central Catholic, and they're going to really need to be composed on the back line to keep it competitive early and, and grow into the match. Throw in towards the box. Stand with the feet up top. This is hand, and Fletcher hand shot is off target to the right. Pretty good chance he didn't quite catch it how he'd like but uh, early warning shot with the positional play and the and the open opportunity and a junior first team all Mount Hood conference selection a year ago opening us up with a shot here early on about a minute into this matchup so again CC able to get possession back here still in the middle third but advancing forward passing the traffic goes to him and Kelly now on the right side this is streaming Extra Strimming surveys the pitch. CC so comfortable in possession here. Not a lot of pressure right now. This is Strimming, trying to move it down to the near side to Chandler, but cleared away by Canby. Cougars looking for a counter. Nice turn by Landon Hill. Hill stops. Watch for Landon Hill with the ball at his feet today for Canby, the senior with two goals this season for the Cougars, both of them coming in the season opening 5-1 victory over Benson. And Hill has it now. Really, really good ball, but offsides. Mm -hmm. Flags up, he's trying to get it to Brian Sandoval. But we already see some of the impact of Landon Hill with all the best advance of the game for Canby in possession so far. Yeah, much needed early little spell of possession. Canby a uh, chance to grow in confidence and, and feel like they're, uh, they're, they're equal out here. Strumming trying to break through the back line. Cleared away, but CC still in possession here. Down to hand, Fletcher hand sends it in high in the air and it over the top of his teammate Eamon Kelly trying to get it to the senior, but over the inline. And a goal kick for the senior starting keeper today for Canby, Aiden Lawless, one of the team captains. Staring straight into the sun here in the first half. You'll have to look to see if that's a, gonna be a factor, Chris. Mm -hmm. Long shots and just like a baseball outfielder, you can lose it in the sun. Let's see if CC can take advantage here as they attack with the sun at their back. 40 minutes of this first half. Mm. Strimming's got it on the right side. To hand in the middle. Nice feed to Fletcher Hand with his left foot. Jostling for position and cleaned up by Lawless. Graham Chandler was on the receiving end, but the physical defense able to fend him off. Yeah, I think he's a little more frustrated than actually asking for uh, the foul there, but definitely a question. Warning shot from Central Catholic. Jack Armstrong back down to Chandler. Wing backs on the left side. Puts on a move, turns the corner. Now towards the middle, great feed, but oh. can't finish. The left footed attempt by Taylor goes wide. Yeah, it was that Chandler with the step over down the uh, end line there. Beat his man for pace. Put in a really dangerous ball. And uh, Central Catholic looking pretty threatening. Thomas Taylor, the youngest player in the starting 11 for Central Catholic today. The wind's actually in his face a little bit. It's going to slow up the goal kick. See if that is, uh, plays a factor. The elements are working against Lawless. <laughs> it's <laughs> true. The sun and the wind. <laughs> That's right. He must have lost the toss. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and the Central Catholic attack all coming at him here in this first half. Well, that's what he signed up for. Yep. There you go. Some good composure. Throw in for CC down in the corner. This team's played last year, and it was almost a year to the day, a Wednesday on this field. A 5 0 victory for Central Catholic over Canby last season. It's a Cougars team that looks a little different this year, with 17 players graduated from a year ago. Throw into the box is cleared away by Francisco Sanchez. 
Landon Hill trying to get to the ball. CC staying composed and keeping possession. Now here's a cross in, a line drive. Oh, and, and fighting. Missed it wide, off the head of Graham Chandler. Yeah, Chandler's getting behind the defense and that was really, really excellent service. I think Chandler wants that one back. Yeah, that was Hayden Stanford on the service at Beauty. Not able to finish. Curling in swinger and Chandler's letting him know, good ball. Yeah. I feel like any time you get a pass from your teammate like that in the box, no matter what happens, you say, hey, good yeah. pass. Yeah, I mean, he won the ball. You <laughs> yep. know, he, he got the header below the post. He just couldn't put it inside the on frame. Chandler was the one, of course, who made that terrific pass earlier to the middle from near the end line. So an active start on the ball for Graham Chandler. Jack Armstrong <coughs> lobs this pass across. Strimming sends it in. All the way back to Giannotti and his shot's wide. Yeah, his eyes opened up and definitely a chance to hit one from distance. Busy opening six minutes for Aid Lawless, the senior keeper. Hasn't had to make any spectacular saves yet, but Central Catholic spending a lot of time in possession in the attacking third. Definitely imposing their will a little bit on the game and putting some pressure. Canby can adjust here. Yeah, they just need to survive the first 10, 15 minutes here and uh, grow in confidence, maybe see a little bit more possession and not try to hurry things and just send the through ball over the top, put it in the mail. Another chance in the middle. This is Hand working through oh. traffic and finishes Fletcher Hand. The junior knocks it through. Great patience in front of goal. He had a chance to shoot and he waited for just you know that hesitation and a little bit more of an opportunity and the goal opened up for him. That patience was just so impressive there. Low heart rate in, in, in front of goal. Definitely you know, there's a tendency to get so excited. I've got a chance to shoot him in front of goal and that he waited that extra second and, and, and made the job easier. So the Rams score first. It's about eight minutes into this first half. Last season these teams played, talking with Canby head coach Ryan McCormack, he was proud of how his team was able to start in this matchup last year, saying that they kind of frustrated CC a little bit. They were battling at the post a couple times. But Yeah, not the start he was looking for this year. No. This is a good experience for this Canby team that also just came yeah. off a loss to Aloha, another powerhouse. Well, they're so young, losing 17 players off of last year's team. I mean, last week was a great experience. This is a great experience. And uh, I think he was off sides anyway there. <laughs> Here's Anktel. Benjamin Anktel down at Chandler. Central Catholic has also challenged themselves to their early schedule. They started off against 5A top ranked McKay. And McKay with a goal in the 78th minute to win that one 1 0 over Central Catholic. The Rams followed that up with a 4 2 win at Roosevelt. And just beat 5A number 5 in the latest coaches poll 2 0 on Saturday. Yeah, they've got big plans for the season, postseason run. and. See if they can't bring home some hardware. Last season losing in the quarterfinals to top ranked Jesuit, the eventual state champs. But head coach Chris Palmer for the Rams this year feels like they've got the talent to make an even deeper run and maybe even win it all here this season. Got six oh. all Mount Hood selections back. Nice attack here on the left side. Fletcher Hand with a chance, and he shoots ah. across, and it's just wide. Nearly picked up his second goal in the first 10 minutes. Nice build up, really, really good team passing out of Central Catholic, and uh, almost led to number two there. And it was Graham Chandler again on the feet to Hand. Good tandem, yeah. they've got some chemistry. And Hans making great runs off the ball, really getting into the danger area. Unsettling the uh, Camby defense for sure. Oh, 
Ojeda trying to work out of traffic. Maroon Kits squeeze in on him, and this is Armstrong. Lost control of it, goes straight to the feet of Hemsey Walters. Now here's Sandoval. Valdivinos mm. trying to go to Flores in the middle. Felt like he was a little hurried to get rid of it before somebody took it off. That's, you know, what happens when you don't see as much of the ball and your team's getting uh, outplayed a little bit. Chandler lobs it across. Graham Chandler again. All the way to Sanchez for Canby. Yeah, nice, nice work out of Sanchez. He needs to set all these guys down, hold on to the ball a little bit. Sandoval. Up to Evan Flores, the senior, down to Sandoval, sprinting down the near side. Lost his footing, and it's over the touch line. Yeah, I didn't see a touch either there out of Ankdol, but uh, it's going to be a oh, yeah. can be throw. I thought he just unbalanced him and gave him a little legal piece of his hip. Maybe it's on the ground. Yeah, I think he might have called a foul. Okay, yeah. Good call. They called a foul there, so he... Decent spot for a free kick here for Camby. Why not take a chance, put a couple of the big guys up in front of goal and see if you can't uh, get one back. It's the senior defender, Garrett Becker, who comes forward to take it. Becker fires it in, high in the air, and it's corralled with two hands by Josh Namhoff. I don't think he got the in-swing he was looking for. So Namoff for Central Catholic, the first year starter. He's got big shoes to fill as the keeper, replacing Quinn Sappington, who was the conference goalkeeper of the year and now playing at Western Washington. Good ball in the middle, here's Chandler again. Looking for his buddy Fletcher Hand, but plays it up top. Now a left footed strike, just a bit yeah. high from Jack Armstrong. Why not, good, good hit is right. Crowd like that one. Great atmosphere down here at Delta Park. A lot of students and family members out to root their loved ones on and a perfect day weather-wise here. It really is, 75 degrees. Sun's starting to set here over Delta Park. Throw in near the halfway line for Central Catholic. Off the head of Becker. And over the sideline, a throw in for the Rams. So about 13 minutes into this first half. Aiden Lawless, the goalie, and also the captain, barking out some instructions, setting up a wall. I guess there was a foul there, too. Mm. He's calling him pretty tight out there. <laughs> Here's Strimming, looking for the shot, fires it in, deflected away to hand. He shoots again and cleaned up by Lawless. The active half for Fletcher Hand continues. Central Catholic up a goal here on Canby. Sandoval. To Valdivinos Cabrera. Dante Valdivinos Cabrera, senior. Certainly a threat on the ball. One to watch here today for the Cougars. Yeah, Canby can't afford to be cheap with possession. Haven't really held on to it very long in the uh, Central Catholic attacking uh, zone there. Yeah, the Central Catholic pressure has been pretty relentless all over the pitch. Cougars just trying to get a footing on some possession as this half progresses. There's a foul against Canby. Yeah, there's a lot of talent on the Central Catholic roster too. I think a lot of these guys are really, you know, trying to smell a little blood and they want to impress the coaching staff and there's a lot of minutes up for uh, for grabs on this team and uh, you need to prove yourself. Work hard or you're going to get subbed off. 
Here's a free kick, lobbed in towards hand over his head, and Chandler had a chance. Couldn't get a foot on it. And a goal kick for Lawless. Another dangerous, another dangerous, dangerous ball into the area. The free kicks have looked great for Central Catholic. Mm -hmm. Central Catholic led by head coach Chris Palmer. His first year as the head coach. Played for Central Catholic, was a star for the Rams from 2010 to 13, where he was second team all state. Part of the state runner up team in 2013. And then went on to have a terrific career at Linfield as well. Down at McMinnville. Was the assistant last year, promoted a head coach this year, and He's doing a great job with the Central Catholic squad. Rams up 1-0 over Canby. About 15 minutes into this first half. It's Canby with possession. Sanchez playing it forward over the top to Sandoval. Yeah, put it in the mail. Well delivered. Sandoval's in the box now. Towards the middle, deflected back. And CC in possession with Armstrong. Now looking to counter as Taylor plays it forward on the right side. I mean, there was a little space there for Canby. They just couldn't quite ping the passes together, but uh, it's got to give him a little bit of hope. Certainly their biggest threat so far. Just like that, CC's back on it. It's a shot, but a pretty weak one from Strimming and controlled by Lawless. Valdivinas Cabrera, well defended, sneaking in from behind there, Giannotti. To get it back for CC, here's Hand. Back towards the middle, Armstrong. Looks to reverse up top. Strimming. Throw it away by, by Tamimi. That pass deflected back though. And sent over the sideline. Yeah, just get it out of here. Let's uh, recalibrate the defense. Can be lining up in a 4-3-3 where they're trying to possess the ball and attack with some wing backs, but I think today they realize that they need to uh, sit back and, and absorb some pressure and, and counter based on the uh, the opponent at hand. Yeah, talking with Cougars head coach Ryan McCormack this week, he said, usually we like to possess as much as possible, but just as you pointed out, he said it kind of depends on the opponent. Maybe a match like this, they'll sit and counter. Don't want to play around the ball too much. Hand rips the shot, oh, just a bit wide. Relentless Fletcher hand. A lot of shots in this first half. Yeah, you can tell why he scores a lot of goals. Mm. Pretty exciting hair, too. I'd have to say uh, inspired <laughs> by uh, John C. Zardes. Did the go. same thing so his grandma could pick him out on the field. <laughs> I love it. He definitely stands out in more, more yeah. ways than one. Yeah, no, he's letting his game do the talking. You're going to have some exciting hair like that. You have to have the game to back it up. Yeah, we didn't see any hair like that in the JV game. You know, that's that's a varsity <laughs> standout haircut for sure. That's right. <laughs> Can be working it up the far side. It's like they're starting to settle in a little bit. Better and better possession. Yeah, better just to connect some passes, play it back, you know, just to th knock it out and get another throw in, you know, just build some cohesive possession. I know that obviously that's how uh, McCormack wants to play things. These kids are these kids are young, you know, a lot of new faces, and uh, this is definitely a higher level that they've seen pretty much most of their lives, I would think. Mm -hmm. it, And we mentioned earlier they lost 17 players from last year's team, including four all-conference selections. Cougars only returning all-conference selection with Landon Hill, who's a four-year starter. So Ryan McCormack said that 
The attack, they're still developing on that. Feels like that's something they're gonna get better and better at as the year goes on, but he's, he does believe in their player's ability to possess and defend. Only down a goal here, about halfway through the first half. Towards hand, good job by the defender there to get ahead on it. That was actually Evan Brenner who got a piece of it. Otherwise, Fletcher Hand had a pretty clear shot there. Hand passes to the middle. This is Giannotti. Now to Strimming, patient with the ball. Knocked back to Giannotti. Fires near side to hand. Yeah, and acres of space. And Great swings ball. it in. Touched, but why? Went off of Chandler and out of play. Inviting service. He's looking for the corner, but uh, not going to get it. And pressuring Sandoval closely. And a foul tagged against Hand. I think I'm going to agree with that one. Just a little too handsy out of hand. There you go. <laughs> Brian Sandoval, the junior, will play the free kick. Towards Tamimi. Goes all the way back to Jimenez. Far side, this is Dexter Strimming. Ball forward for Chandler. Graham Chandler on the right side. Oh, good move. Hesitates, Chandler turns a corner again. He's on the inline, looking towards the middle and knocked away by Lawless. He's got a couple colleagues that would have liked uh, some service. He did a lot of the heavy lifting, got behind the defense. That's one of the first direct route passes we've seen out of Central Catholic. They've been so successful possessing the ball in the opponent's third. and weaving passes and switching the play, but uh, they're dangerous on the counter as well. And that's obviously what, uh, what Camby <laughs> needs to fear. Mm -hmm. Central Catholic with their first corner of this match. Oh, he misjudged Over it. everybody, ball's loose, popped in the air. Got Wallace away with was, it. Yeah, a little out of position there. Now a fight for it, knocked out of the box. Giannotti plays it off for Ernst. Down to Strimming. Crosses in, uh-oh, hands got it to his right foot, sends it high. Good chance, but uh, I think his first touch was just a hair heavy. Mm. I think he was surprised to be so open and have the ball kind of go through everybody yeah. in, in front of goal and show up on his doorstep. Hand with the goal earlier after a beautiful team attack by Central Catholic. A few precise passes forward. They got it to hand near the middle of the box and he just rocketed into the top right corner. Yeah, really patient play as well, being the striker and and waiting for the opportune time to actually pull the trigger. Here we are again. Uh oh, a lot of contact there. Outside the box, he's, I think he's gonna call it. That was close because he ended up hitting the turf in, inside the 18, but. Uh, contact all along that run, yeah. but that initial contact just outside the box. Still a really dangerous spot here for CC. And looks like he wants to take it himself. Pretty good area to shoot. Can be. Coaching staff yelling out direction to the wall there, move left, and it worked out. Yeah, it did their job. Yeah, good coach in there. Talbot has it, but the physical defense by Vicencio. A little too physical. Yeah, too much so. It's a big boy. Yeah, so is Talbot. It's a couple physical players there going toe to toe. Headed away, trying yeah, well, to get the ball there to Taylor. Well defended, Flores got in there and cleared the danger. So a one nil lead for a Central Catholic over Canby. And Canby's growing into the match. You know they've mm -hmm. settled they've settled the 
the nerves a little bit. Gave up the first goal and didn't implode. Here's Strimming. Off to the right side, fires the shot off the back of Sanchez. Let's see if Canby can counter now. Ledesma to Valdinos Cabrera. Valdivinos Cabrera, the senior. Still controlling possession. Head coach Ryan McCormack oh. really likes his play. Called him fantastic, but CeCe's defense too much to handle there. Now with Jack Armstrong to hand on the left side. And going to his right. Passes to Chandler, the quick touchdown to Taylor. And cleared away by Hemsey Walters. Patience from Jimenez. Valdivinos Cabrera trying for a quick feed down the sideline, deflected back to him. He's got it again, and his ball forward's taken away. I think Lawless has got another two or three minutes of dealing with that son. Yep. Just affecting him still. He makes a nice play on it there. It was a pass in by Strimming that Lawless is able to control. Good half for Aiden Lawless. You can see why he earned that starting job as a team captain. He has been peppered with shots here in this first half. Yeah, busy. There's some space, ah, just mm. unable to deliver the pass. Valdivinos Cabrera trying to get it to Hill, who is very dangerous with the ball. Now this is hand for Central Catholic. Hand oh, fires, oh, hands. he's got two. Yeah. A so. beauty that time. So fluid on the ball, no panic in his game, just took it right up the gut. And, uh, you know, somebody needed to foul him, get a body on him, do something. There haven't been a lot of slide tackles in this game. Fletcher Hand putting Central Catholic up 2-0. A couple goals for him. Such a terrific finisher. He's just one of those players, too, that, and I don't mean this in a bad way, but he, you can just tell every time he gets the ball, he wants to score. He yeah. just lives for it. He's looking for that shot, and his team gives him the green light with his ability. That's the attitude that all great goal scorers have. Mm -hmm. A lot of belief. You gotta think you can score to go out and, and make it happen. Yeah, it's a good first step. And a sub in for Central Catholic. They will bring in a fresh body replacing Dexter Strimming. We'll see if Canby can settle in here with about 10 minutes to go here in this first half. Is that Sims Walker that just came on the field? Yes, yes it is. Thank you, the senior Walker Sims subbing in for CC. Vicencio getting forward. And a foul is called against him. Yeah, he got to the ball first and took a knock. Ojeda getting a piece of the official. Yeah, unfortunate. He had uh, Landon Hill in some space. Drop it all the way back to Lawless. Central Catholic applying a bit of pressure. Ooh. Hand gets a piece of it. Oh, and Vicencio has it knocked away. A goal kick, though, for Canby. Yeah, Central Catholic's tails are up. Central Catholic team that is... Got a big one coming up Tuesday, playing at Lincoln, who is unbeaten so far this season. Three wins and a draw for Lincoln Slate so far. They're number 11 in the OSAA, but in the 6A coaches poll, they're number two. So state quarterfinal team last year, Lincoln, a massive test for Central Catholic on Tuesday. Maybe their biggest so far. Yeah, Lincoln, another perennial powerhouse. Great facility. Another one of those totally remodeled Portland Public Schools. 
Julian. Julian Brody just checked back in for Central Catholic. Uh-oh, Hand has it again. Hand. That's what he does so well. And, oh, he's got another. <coughs> How about a first half hat trick for Fletcher Hand? Are you kidding me? He fakes the shot. He fakes the shot. He waits for the opportune moment, and the, it, it just he, he becomes more and more dangerous in front of goal. It's the composure, the patience. We've seen that now on both his first and even more so on that one, his, his third goal. Clearly the danger man. Yes. Not rushing the shot, waiting for the perfect moment to strike. Just relentless. I'm just waiting for him to get tired, and it is not happening. <laughs> no. Still pretty early in the season. This is the time of year where sometimes you'll still see cramps and you'll see some tired players, but not Fletcher Hand. Maybe he's doing some work in the off season. Yeah. He looks fit. So a 3 0 lead for CC over Canby. All three of those goals from Fletcher Hand. <coughs> Garrett Becker descended another free kick. Didn't quite get the in swing that he wanted his last effort on this. This time, he maybe overcorrected a bit, but he does get it to a teammate. Sparajas. And why not? You know, Camby just needs to knock it around. They need to keep possession. And when they're on their heels the whole time, it's just tough to build any continuity. Rishi Kokarni trying to pass the middle to hand. Has it knocked back? Kokarni sneaks in. Becker looking for the pass up to Lopez. Yeah, and all these reinforcements are uh, putting the press on as well. It's going to really be... Uh, challenging to the uh, the fitness for for Camby and to be able to sustain all this pressure yeah most of the subs in this match have been by Central Catholic <coughs> a lot of the starters still out there for the Cougars it's another great ball, ball. sent in oh. oh hand couldn't control that one but again hands making all these runs off the ball because he just keeps over and over finding himself uh, alone in a dangerous area, and the credit goes to him for working hard off the ball. Can Canby make an adjustment to, to spot him off the ball more often? I would think so. I mean, I think you need to get in the ear of your defender and uh, and maybe just attach a, a defense, you know, a d defensive midfielder to, uh, to stick with him everywhere. Lopez battling with Anktol. Mm. Can't quite wrap his foot around it. Goal kick for Jared Rojas. A couple subs in for Central Catholic. Max Marshall. Eric Cotton also subbing in for the Rams. Josh Namoff, the senior keeper. And hasn't had a lot of action yet today. But that's the way Central Catholic wants it. He'll certainly have his moments this season where they'll need him to step up in the in the net. Nice pass. Yeah, this is Julian Brody. All the way down to Kulkarni. Kulkarni working to his left. Rips the pass in, deflected. Brody scores. Oh, yeah. Number four for CC. Nice finish for Brody. He took the extra touch too and just buried that far post. Julian Brody, honorable mention all Mount Hood Conference selection a year ago. The juniors on the board of the goal. Uh, a lot of subs in the game now for Central Cat. They look stacked. Yeah. They look deep. Now we were talking to Rams head coach Chris Palmer before the match and he said that's something that he really loves about this year's team compared to last is just how deep they are keeping everybody fresh and, and healthy, avoiding injuries as the season progresses. Yeah, you don't have to tax anybody's body too hard and uh, it sets up some pretty healthy competition in practice. Yeah, that's a good point. The, the practices for Central Catholic, there must be some some battles. That's Yeah, all these, all these guys want the minutes. All these guys uh, want to be putting the ball in the back of the net and part of the, part of the team. 
the foul behind. Caught him late after uh, releasing the ball. About five minutes to go here in the second half. Four nil lead for Central Catholic over Canby. Off the chest of Joey Loomis. Mm. Talbot <coughs> not able to break out with possession and a throw in for the Cougars. Fires up to Sandoval. Goes to Brody, though, for Central Catholic. Fresh off his goal, he plays it up to Talbot. Sends in a cross, deflected towards the middle. Michael Carney tracks it down. Yeah, Talbot really accelerated into some space there, showed off the wheels. Throw in for Canby. Yeah, Max Marshall stepping over the ball and controlling it. What a job the CC defense has done containing Landon Hill. He's a pretty electric player. Two goals against Benson earlier this year. All conference returner. But they have been glued to him and they've no, pretty much known where he's been at all times. Yeah, it's tough for one guy to make a big impact when your team is really up against it. Talbot looking for the touch. Ball pinballs around in the box. Sims gets Central Catholic the corner. Closing minutes of a first half that has been all Central Catholic. Season high so far for the Rams through three matches. They scored four goals at Roosevelt, and they're already at that mark here in the first half. Yeah, it doesn't look like they're slowing down anytime no. soon. Brody sends it in along the turf, deflected back, looking for the one. The yeah, shot high, by high degree of difficulty, yeah. and then the uh, circus act of holding the ball up on your shoulders. It was Timothy Kaw who tried to fire that in. And he took, a, he in took a spike right on top of his foot. That one might need the magic spray. Good sportsmanship out of Armstrong to let him know he's sorry. Check on the uh, opposing team. I think that's Vicencio for Canby that's down and shaken up. Official stops the clock here as he's in some clear discomfort. Hope he's just a little bruise and uh, something he can get over pretty quickly and not a twist or a soft tissue injury. Yeah. That's head coach Ryan McCormack out to check on him. McCormack in his fifth year as head coach. Previously the head coach at KIPP San Jose Collegiate. He did a job with his Canby program. He helps up Vicencio and will walk him off the field. Did you see a sub come on? Are they gonna? Yeah, it was uh, Hemsey Walters. <coughs> Kai Hemsey Walters, the senior, comes in at his post at center back. Kimsey Walters was the original starter in that position. Vicencio had subbed in and is still walking, but now walking under his own power there behind the goal line. In a closing minute or so of this first half. Kolkarni. Well weighted. To Zambelli. Giacomo Zambelli with his right foot deflected, headed in the air. All the way back to Brody. 
Brody working to his left, pointing out instructions to teammates. Down to Kulkarni. Back to Brody. Great, great Look at the dribbling. Moves. Brody yeah. looking for the shot, deflected back by Himsey Walters. One way traffic here. We've seen that a lot in this first half. The Rams with possession in the attacking third. Crossed in, and Lawless is there. Sandoval battling to get to it, but Nate Ernst has it for CC. Down to Kulkarni. Pass to Zambelli. Zambelli, in the closing seconds of the half, oh. rips the shot, but didn't get it where he wanted it, over the inline. Yeah, nice job to free himself, but the final touch wasn't what he was looking for. <coughs> and he was clearly frustrated with himself. The junior felt like he missed the shot, but the way Central Catholic is possessing, probably see some more opportunities for him in this squad. No doubt about that. Trying to get it to Jordan Lopez there on the goal kick, but it's to Jack Armstrong. Armstrong to his right, fires a shot along the turf, and Lawless on a diving save makes the play. Yeah, decent effort, got a little bit of power on that. Not quite the contact he was looking for, but uh, not good enough on getting it out of, uh, out of their own end here for Canby. Throw in for Evan Brenner. Four goal advantage, 4 0 Central Catholic here over Canby. Yeah, I think Canby's a little rattled here. Yeah, they're probably just hoping to get to halftime at this point. Cole Carney lobs oh, it that's in. That's dangerous. Oh, it almost went in. Punched away by Lawless. Yeah, I mean, he saw it all the time, but I think he knew it was dangerous the whole time, <laughs> and that thing almost crept into the corner. It was on frame, and good save out of Lawless. Rishi Kulkarni. really nothing. He, he hasn't made a glaring mistake. He's just, this whole team has been, uh, you know, absorbing a heck of a lot of pressure. Halftime here at Delta Park. 4-0 Central Catholic over Canby, and it's really been the Fletcher hand show, among other things. The Rams playing great as a team. But how about a first half hat trick for Fletcher Hand and CC? They're looking yep. pretty good. Looks like his dad's there to give him a good pat on the back, and some congratulations. Well, what stood out to you watching this CC team? Oof, just composure. I mean, they come out in this 3-5-2 and they're the ones who are possessing the ball the whole time, relentless uh, on the press. And so every time they lost the ball, they got it back right away. They just, they, they were the class of, uh, of the competition here. Yeah, that's it. Central Catholic team coming into this game, number nine in the OSAA rankings. For what it's worth, it's still very early on, of course, but that's where the numbers have them. A, certainly a Rams team that's as talented as anyone and a chance to chase a state championship here this season, and they really have not disappointed so far. What do you think Canby can do in the second half to play better? Well, they have to be themselves. I mean, they have to find a way to just, even if you're passing it back you know, to a defender, to just try to hold on to the ball a little bit longer and you know maybe get a switch in and and um, they just need to find a way to keep possession more and not be on the back foot the the entire half scrambling and uh, you know and to regain their confidence and, and and to impose their game plan a little bit more they just they've really been on the back foot the whole game. 4-0 Central Catholic leading Canby through 40 minutes of action. It's halftime here at Delta Park. We appreciate you joining us here in the Oregon Sports Beat. We'll be back with the second half in about five minutes.
Back for the second half of the Oregon Sports Beat. Chris Clayton here with Ben Efren. It's 4 0 Central Catholic leading can be. Beautiful evening at Delta Park where the sun has set behind the trees and the temperature's already dropping here a little bit as it usually does this time of year. For just joining us here, it was a pretty incredible first half in favor of Central Catholic. The Rams with four goals and three of them by the attacker Fletcher Hand. A first half hat trick for the junior. And we see a lot of new faces out there for Central Catholic getting rotating in a lot of different guys. Showing off their depth and, and gaining a lot of experience for these guys that are going to also need to serve meaningful roles throughout the season. There's a new keeper in there for Canby. It's Jared Rojas. Yeah, Lawless played well. <clears throat> you can't fault him really for any of these goals, but he was definitely up against it. Yeah, that's something Canby plans on doing for the foreseeable future is rotating in different keepers. Aiden Lawless, Jared Rojas both getting time, kind of splitting those minutes so far this season. There's also a new keeper in for Central Catholic. It's Julian Miranda Geller, or Geller, I should say, excuse me, the senior. Yeah, good to see all these guys getting to play, show their stuff. Yeah, and you mentioned earlier these these minutes, you know, they still matter. If you come out here and you look good and dominate, then that's a great way to earn yourself some minutes for these closer matches moving forward. Impress the coaching staff. Impress your uh, your teammates. Mm -hmm. Give them the confidence to play you the ball. Got Max Marshall in the back line defensively. Dom Giannotti as well. Central Catholic does. Timothy Kaz also in there. Jack Armstrong still in the game in the midfields. Walker Sims. Julian Brody. Giacomo Zambelli, Rishi Kulkarni, and Landon Talbot in the match for Central Catholic. Coming off an impressive win Saturday at West Albany, 2-0. And they're up 4-0 here against Canby. Yeah, getting their engine cooking, but they've, they're they going to have some stiffer challenges coming their way in the near future. You know, namely on Tuesday, at Lincoln, it was number two in the 6A coaches poll. Oh, what a move. Look at Julian Brody yeah. slipping through. <coughs> Brody. Slippery is right. And it's Rojas who cleans it up. But Just using the change of pace so well, that hesitation move. Works in just about every sport. I'm going fast, I'm going slow, I'm going fast, I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> that change of pace is beautiful. Brody is just so confident with the ball at his feet. Ball to Venus Cabrera, up to Tamimi. Polkarni's there. Now Zambelli. Showed him too much of the ball. Yep, right in front of us, Sanchez takes it away from him. Battle for it, Zambelli gets a throw in for Canby. Hard work to get it back. It's Francisco Sanchez who surveys the pitch. Looking up the pitch and knocked over to Tamimi. Here's Ojeda. Ojeda, the center defensive mid for this Canby team. Well, looking pretty good in possession. Yeah, head coach Ryan McCormack was just raving about what Ojeda brings to the table. He said he's a bulldog. McCormack said he actually plays a lot with the team in practice still, and Ojeda, he just refuses to dribble near. <laughs> yeah. Just a tough <coughs> physical player. Throw in for the Rams in the first third. It's Eric Cotton taken away. Jimenez, nice ball. This is Valdivinos Cabrera on the left side. Left footed shot. Oh, nearly Still. knocked away by Miranda ah. Geller and cleaned up again on the follow up shot attempt. Best chance of the game for Canby. Is that Sandoval that yep. got in there at the end? Yeah. Sandoval he could, shot. didn't get quite the contact he was looking for, and the first shot was really well struck and a great save out of uh, Manuel. 
Julian Miranda Geller, the oh. backup keeper who subbed in, who made the diving save there. Yeah, thanks for the correction. Yeah, Namoff was the starter for this match, and then go with Miranda Geller this half. Oh, Ooh. there's a turnover, and here's Jack Armstrong with some space to operate. Trying to play it to the middle, but well defended by Ojeda and deflected slowly towards Rojas. Yeah, maybe maybe a little too unselfish there. I thought he was going to – he saw a piece of the net himself and was going to call his own number. There's Valdivinos Cabrera again, making an impact here in the second half. Threw a ball forward to Jimenez. Jimenez on the left side, keeps it in play. Out of Valdivinos Cabrera. It's dangerous ball, still loose. Yeah. Well, bicycle shop's closed. And the quick shot. Oh, it's in. And it's, it's off not the in. post twice. It oh. didn't go in. It was Evan Flores who nearly got Camby on the board. It's the Timbers in the 2015 uh, championship <laughs> game. Go. Nice callback. <laughs> Beautiful shot by Flores. I thought that was going wide, but Miranda Geller could see that was going to be dangerous, and it hit he the woodwork twice. He rung them both. <laughs> and he was in shock. Flores was only, almost took his, his uniform off. Sent <laughs> belly to the middle. Well, now we got to say that was definitely the best chance of the game yes. for Canby. That's what the Cougars did Thursday against Aloha. Hit the, the woodwork twice in that match. Weren't able to score, so maybe a bit of frustration for Camby thinking, what do we got to do to get a goal in? Yeah, but a much brighter start to the second half. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Cougars putting some shots on here in the second half and possessing well. And it took about nine minutes or so until... Central Catholic scored in that first half. Slight delay with our official here. Uh, oh, there. Chris Palmer's out on the pitch talking. I think, is the trainer looking at Miranda Geller here? Oh, the keeper. Yeah. Looks to have a problem. Maybe he hurt something, scrambling to. Fetch that one off the posts. His two best friends yes. <laughs> came to the rescue. So Miranda Geller slowly walking off. Oh, that's a shame. He may be done. He made a great diving save earlier. Yeah, he's he's being subbed out. Is this a third? Yeah, Zeke Vantoff. Yeah. Zeke Van Toff, the senior, getting a chance for Central Catholic. Third keeper of the match. Here's Julian Brody. Talbot. His back heel pass to Jack Armstrong. Armstrong this time. No, he did pass over to Cole Carney right side, and he keeps it in play, straddling the inline. line. Carney trying to slip through. Corner. And a corner. So it looks like Cole Carney will take this corner for Central Catholic. Threatening to go short, but I sends it in with the left foot. Armstrong's oh. in the area. He got past the keeper. It's loose, but it's to the left of the net. Rojas missed it. Yeah. CC couldn't finish. That was almost harder to miss <laughs> than that one in. I don't know what happened. There's almost a little indecision there between two Central Catholic players. Yeah, they were too polite to each other. Right. How do you take it? No, no, no. You score this one. No. <laughs> Sometimes that can happen in a 4-0 you know, match. You get a little. Well, the last thing you want to do is put your teammate off, but they both put each other off. Right. I think trying to, uh, to get out of the way. Cotton goes up to Talbot. Talbot battling. Goes to Kulkarni. Kulkarni getting forward. Talbot again. Swarmed by Canby defenders. Yeah. Works out of the pack, lobs it in. Pretty good ball, it's still loose. He did well to keep that off of his hand there. Uh, Joey Loomis, good defending. Cotton couldn't get a, a clean shot off, and the can be back line holds strong again. There have been some bright moments for Canby. 
This young Cougars team trying to improve on last year's 3-11 record. They've already won one match this year. Conference play is starting relatively soon as it'll be two matches of non-conference at West Salem on Tuesday and the next Thursday they're hosting Sandy. And then they start Tuesday the 26th playing at Hood River Valley to start off Northwest Oregon Conference play for Canby, the 5A school. The Cougars just moving down to 5A a couple years ago. They're kind of on the brink, very close to being a 6A school. Yeah, they should be pretty competitive in that league. Mm -hmm. An eighth place finish a year ago. There's a free kick sent in to Kolkarni. Knocked in the air. Talbot trying to get there. Jimenez and Talbot doing a lot of time jostling for position. And Jimenez comes away with it. But it's turned over. Sims sprinting to track it down on the touch line. Fires into Talbot. And a wayward pass. Here's Brody. Electric with the ball at his feet. Yeah. Julian Brody. Quick feet. Well defended. That's Francisco Sanchez. Making a good move, too. Sanchez in a sprint. Ball forward for Valdivinos wow. Cabrera taken away by the strong defense of Graham Chandler. Throw in for CC. Jack Armstrong. What a move. Yeah. Taken away, though. Good team defense there as Garrett Becker stepped up. Just relentless. Look at Jack yeah. Armstrong. And Sanchez got pretty nice feed himself. Mm -hmm. an example of what we see from Canby head coach Ryan McCormack. He believes his players have that ability to possess at their feet as the season goes on. Yeah, Northwest. and they get into league play in 5A. They're going to be able to play their game plan and possess a lot better. You see the skill sets are in place, but they're just a little outmatched tonight. Mm -hmm. What do you think for Central Catholic to kind of evolve and reach their, their full potential? What, what needs to improve still for them moving forward? Hmm, it's a good question. It's going to be interesting to see them play, you know, in the league and, and, and at Lincoln um, to keep, you know, if they can do what they're doing now against this kind of competition against the better schools, then, then you know, they really have a championship makeup. Mm -hmm. uh, it, I would say to be able to do what they're doing against higher competition. Yeah. Yeah, you get the sense that attack that they have can translate to just about anybody. Fletcher Hand and Graham Chandler and that group up front, just phenomenal. Haven't been challenged too much today in the back line. Their closest match so far, a 1-0 tough loss against McKay. Valdivinas Cabrera, good ball to the middle. This Very is good. to Mimi. Now he goes to the far side. Joey Loomis rips the shot oh. and scores! That's Such Brian Sandoval! Such a nice hit. There's a Junior. good moment for Camby. Yeah, a laser off the foot of Brian Sandoval. 4-1 now. Well, you never know. It's a good step in the right direction and a confidence boost for the Cougars. Absolutely. Shut out Thursday by Aloha. 6-0 loss in that one. On the board here against Central Catholic. Good patient buildup, you know. Mm -hmm. One pass, good pass led to another good pass. And uh, Sandoval with a good touch and a gr great strike. Yeah, it went from Valdivinos Cabrera, who is having a great half. He passed it over to Tamimi, who made that extra feed on the right side to Sandoval to the, allow that great shot. The extra pass worked like a charm from a good pass to a great pass. Mm -hmm. Seen that from both teams today, very unselfish. Making that extra feed. Just about 15 minutes now into this second half. 4 1 Central Catholic over Canby after a 5 0 victory for CC over Canby last year. 
It's a big foot, and that looked like a foul from my vantage there point. A little delayed, but yeah. he does get that whistle. Yeah, big. Why not? Some confidence flowing. Put some numbers up. You got a free kick. Another goal for Camby is going to change the dynamic of yeah. this game. You might see Fletcher Hand come back up off yeah. the bench for Central Catholic. <laughs> yeah. That's right. a good ball right there. Lopez trying to send it in through some contact, but missed it wide. And a goal kick for Zeke Vantoff. Here's some wholesale substitutions for CC. We got Hayden Stanford, Thomas Taylor, a couple starters checking in for CC. Along with Ben Enkdel. So three of the original starters in this matchup. So back in for the Rams. So just what you mentioned that, hey, one more goal and it's suddenly a different match. Maybe Chris Palmer saying, all right, let's try and get our starters back in here. Here's Julian Brody. Yeah, I've liked what I've seen from him today. Yeah. Ball played in, deflected by Hemsey Walters, and it goes to Rojas. He's got quite the leg. Yeah, maybe he doubles as the punter on the football team. Right. Here's a throw in over the halfway line for the Cougars. Easier said than done, though. Tony Miola didn't quite work out in the NFL. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, the Cowboys, Dallas Cowboys' new starting kicker, not punter, but kicker, played in the MLS. Okay. Did not know that. That's his cool. His name escapes you right now. I apologize. But he did play in the MLS and then played in the USFL. So some translation there. Here's Nate Ernst down the near side for Central Catholic. Marauding run. Yeah. <laughs> Fires it in and it over everybody's head. Big, strong young man. Got a big ovation from the crowd as he tried to make a big play there by himself. Those defenders get excited when they're in the final third. That's right. <laughs> you have to shoot. You make it all that yeah, way. That's Not it. even off a pass. You just <laughs> took it yourself. Obligatory shot. So 4-1 Central Catholic. Can be it looking like a different team in this second half in terms of how much possession they've had and opportunities. They draw a foul there. Yeah, I think they got some of their nerves out a little late, but uh, Better late than never, and, and, and something to, to hang your hat on and to grow from. It has looked like a different contest, you know, all, all, albeit against some of the not, you know, second teamers on Central Catholic, although there's, there's a lot of uh, one and one A right. coming off the bench here for Central Catholic. Lobbed in, trying to get it to Landon Hill, but headed back. Well done by Nate Ernst. Pass batted down by Ojeda. All the way out to the right side to Hill. And even just a ball like that, you know, they couldn't quite keep possession, but it's, it's a heck of a lot better than just turning it over. Right. Yeah, those turnovers over the sideline are a lot more ideal than what we saw some of that first half where Central Catholic was taking it away in the middle third and racing the other way immediately. The bad giveaways really lead to some, some bad outcomes. Trying to get that ball to Zambelli. Now it's Jack Armstrong. Yeah, he's been a nice calming force in the central midfield. Mm -hmm. Strimming to Zambelli. Got some space into the 18. Zambelli, Rojas missed on the dive. Back to Strimming. Nobody quite making that decisive run to get on the end of that. It was a pretty good ball in. And on the left side, uh, no thought whistle. of a penalty. He yep. wants one. And, you know, the referee's body language started to go to the whistle, and he held off. Mm. Here's Landon Hill in a full sprint. You, you catch him in a different mood, and I think he blows <laughs> the whistle. 
I mean, it's such a judgment call. Mm -hmm. Armstrong, nice feed. Under the foot of Jimenez. Yeah, really crisp passing out of Central Catholic here. Strimming goes up to Talbot. Talbot stops, waits for teammates to establish themselves. Goes back to Jack Armstrong. All yeah. the way up to Brody. They look like a good soccer team right now. Mm -hmm. Brody fires in. And the announcer's curse. <laughs> there it is, <laughs> right to Garrett Becker, the defender. And Brenner clears it over the sideline. Knocking it around pretty, pretty nicely. And another sub in for the Rams. Looks like Eamon Kelly. And that is Kelly. He will replace. Trying to get a look at who just subbed out there. Talking to head. There it is, Zambelli. Zambelli talking with head coach Chris Palmer on the sideline. Brody, over to Armstrong. You mentioned he's a calming presence. He's just so crafty with the ball at his feet. Composed, makes the smart pass. Dropped it back to Stanford, who goes on the right side to Strimming. Launches it in, batted in the air by Ojeda, and Rojas cleans it up. Quickly, Rojas firing it down the pitch. Off of Sandoval, near side to Jimenez. Yeah, some great service out yeah. of the Camby keeper. Rojas making it happen with his feet. A regular Tim Howard. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> See a little difference in the two keepers so far, and Aiden Lawless, maybe a little bit bigger. Not as powerful with the distribution as Rojas. Rojas a year younger, though. So just a kind of a different look between the two keepers that McCormack, for the time being, just plans on using both of them this season. Ernst down to Strimming. Looking for someone to make a run. Plays it forward and a sprinting Better Sims. late than never, but uh, he just, <laughs> he got after that ball a step late. Sims was sprinting as hard as he could to get to it, not able to get there. Almost on the same page. Ramiro Barajas subs in for Tamimi. Into the final 18 minutes of this match. 4-1 Central Catholic leading Canby. The Rams with four first half goals, a hat trick from Fletcher Hand. Really good ball by Jimenez. This is Landon Hill. Good cut. Here's Hill. Oh, and then a heavy touch. And Nate Ernst, the defender, also dribbling forward. He's looking to reverse it. Pass a little bit off target. Jimenez gets a touch on it. It's loose. Convergence. And Sandoval has it. He already scored once. Nice move oh. by Brody. Brody, a magician yes. with the ball at his feet. Yeah. Here's Sanchez, well defended. Francisco Sanchez. Oh. Crafty touch there. Yes. Well, he's fun to watch. He steps through off the oh. move. Through ball to Jimenez. Well defended by Stanford. Francisco Sanchez, yeah, nice player. Just a junior, he scored once this year in the 5-1 victory over Benson. Now Armstrong, Jack Armstrong getting forward to the left side to Sims. Looking towards the middle, he'll go back to Armstrong. Good turn. Towards the goal line here, fires the pass to the penalty arc, Brody. Wide. Yeah, didn't catch it how he wanted to. Nice feed by Armstrong there. Why not? Yeah, could have been a glorious strike there. And numbers going the other way here. Rojas, another great pass from the box. Gets it up to Jordan Lopez. Great distribution out of Rojas. And Zeke Vantoff. Canby's gonna have a lot to, to 
be proud of themselves on the bus ride home if they can win the second half. Mm -hmm. This is a top tier 6A school in Central Catholic that's got a chance to win a state championship this year and can be, regardless of how many starters are in there, can be certainly going toe to toe with the Rams here in half number two. Yeah, winning one to nothing. Yep. Hill looking to step through. Ernst, some more excellent defense back there. Launches to midfield to Talbot. He'll go down to Taylor. And here's Strimming. Back to his right. Knocked down, though, by Barajas. Yeah. And cleared away by Sanchez, or rather by Sandoval. Yeah, didn't need to. That looked a little more like the first half. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in the second half, they've been looking for counters in those situations. They've just been calmer on the ball, and here Central Catholic's the one turning it over now. Mm -hmm. He ball looked to forward, be off. And they got it to Sandoval. The, flag's the stay flag down. is down. Here's the shot. Oh, he almost scored again. Brian Sandoval, another terrific shot. Great. I think Vantoff might have got a piece of it. Oh, he sure did. It was a great save. So Diving save. That was on target. Mm -hmm. what, a, what a lovely strike. Great play all around. So Zeke Vantoff, the third keeper used by Central Catholic, making one of the best saves of the match so far. And the Canby attack continues. They have a corner here. In the air, it's a pretty good ball. Off the head and out of play. Yes, yeah, screaming in on the back post there. Vicencio. It's good to see him healthy out there. Yeah. Yeah. Took a knock on the ankle early in the match. Stanford, a senior defender. Just so steady back there for CC. An honorable mention all conference not a year ago. This is a Central Catholic team that had 11 shutouts last season. Little jersey pull, got away with that one. Only one shutout so far this year for the Rams, and they won't have one here today either. Sometimes that's just how the ball rolls. Brody to Strimming in the middle. Great pass, good. Taylor, all the way across, headed straight in the air and over the net. An ambitious youngster returning the ball to Rojas. There you go. Good work. Good throw, kid. Got involved. You're going to get a high five from Dad? <laughs> That's perfect. I feel like kids live for those moments. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, he'll go home thinking about that, and <laughs> hopefully he's playing on a team with kids his age. And what a great experience for these guys to – get to be on the high school soccer team. Such a great soccer state here. The beautiful state of Oregon with the sun setting over Delta Park. We've got fair weather here. We've got a lot of passionate soccer fans and believers and the talent only getting better and better year after year in the state of Oregon. Yeah. I'm going to go to the University of Portland game on Friday. I think they're ranked number three in the country right now. Yeah, they did lose at West Virginia, so I think they might have dropped a little bit, but definitely a top ten team still. Yeah, I mean, a storied program. Lots of U.S. national players, men and women. Uh-oh, here's Jimenez. Stops, going to his really right. Really good oh. move, but just a hair heavy on his touch on the cutback. Um, Gamby has really uh, – Looked the part here in the second half. And it was Nate Ernst again making a play defensively for CC. First team all Mount Hood a year ago as a defender, and you can see why. Yeah, the right idea there for Jimenez. Mm -hmm. Just about freed himself in a very dangerous position. 
he's just a sophomore. So one of these young can be players getting great experience against an elite defensive team in Central Catholic. Feels like a, just a hair of time wasting here. You know, Landon Hill subs out. And oh, they got bring it. in Valdivinos Cabrera. Didn't see the substitute. I thought he was just <laughs> sitting on just the ball. There. Yeah. <laughs> Strimming working towards the middle. Some space here. Goes to Kelly. Now Brody. Ball's knocked back by Valdivinos, or rather by Brenner. Here's Chandler in the middle to Strimming. Now down to Taylor. Back to Strimming, moving to his left, getting it to Jack Armstrong. Just so composed and patient, trying to work it into traffic, launched away by Barajas. CC throw in. Gets them into the final third already. Out on the left side. Chandler. We've seen him turn the corner a few times. Get to that end line. Earned the corner. And he got him a corner. What a player he is. Just a junior. He's going to put together a lot of assists this season, you would think. Brody. That's Sandoval. Clean tackle. Yep, clean tackle there. Already a goal. He's having a really nice match now. Baldovino's Carter looking towards the middle. Him and his streaking forward looking for it, but that Central Catholic pressure able to get the job done. Baldovino's Carter, you could see, looked up. He saw him. Just couldn't get the footing right. As you mentioned, the pressure was right on him. Now here's Strimming. He's got Taylor out to his right. Looking towards the middle, though. Now off to the left. Played into a crowd. Deflected. Chandler flags up. Oh, it was a beautiful finish by Chandler. He got it in with his heel, or the uh, right side of his foot. Just tapped it in. But he's offside. So still 4-1 advantage for CC. Can be just playing with a lot more confidence in the second half. They're putting more numbers. There's just a lot more belief. I mean, sure, the, a couple of the A-listers from CC are on the bench, but definitely a confidence builder. Central Catholic with the three first half goals, a hat trick for Fletcher Hand, who has not played in this second half. Chris Palmer electing to Leave him on the bench. No reason to push him any further. Maybe if Canby had scored again, if it was 4-2, could think about it. Strimming fires in a pass. Oh, what a good ball. Good ball off balance, but the header's wide. Yeah, I don't know if he saw it cleanly, got through a lot of traffic, but really arrived gift-wrapped in front of his forehead. There's another keeper change. It was Chandler who just wasn't able to finish. And as you mentioned, a new keeper in there for Canby. We will see James Manuel get a chance for Canby. The senior. So Aiden Lawless got the start. Jared Rojas, certainly some really impressive minutes in the net for about 30 minutes of this half. Now they go to James Manuel. Yeah, he takes a clean sheet to the bench. Yeah. About seven minutes to go here in this 4-1 oh. game. And a little rusty, sends it into the bleachers. Throw in for CC. Not the first kick he was looking for. No. It's a tough position. He Maybe he assumed he wasn't going to get in this game. And they said, hey, James, you're in. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully it's oh, warm. Oh, it wasn't ready. <laughs> you don't want to just come up and try to boot it with your first kick. That's right. the uh, adult softball league. <laughs> you, you hit the ball and pull your hamstring on your way to first right. base. 
Yeah, thankfully he's not quite at that age yet. Yeah. But still, tough to just be sitting around and coming in and put together a precise boot. Stanford will throw it in for CC. Oh, are we going to see the flip throw or something uh -oh. special he's here? He's warming up. Just a no good flip, just a long throw, yeah. headed in the air. Strimming, plays it back, right there foot a strike. Is. Off of Manuel, it's loose. And cleared away by Vicencio. Well, he came through when he was called upon to make the save. That was hit with some venom. Yeah, that was Thomas Taylor who gave it a ride. Strimming plays it in, and Manuel's there again. There you go, much better that time. That ball downfield on the money to Sandoval. Taken away, though, by Chandler. Jack Armstrong. Lobs to Strimming. Armstrong in the final third. He wants a shot, and it's wide. Yeah, worth we're, we're a shot, worth a chance there. Didn't miss by that much. I mean, really, there's a couple good storylines going here. Mm -hmm. Central Catholic showed their stuff. They showed they're an elite team. And uh, and Camby has a lot to be proud of to, to, to be beating them for the second half and moving forward to their league play. Yeah, great position for Canby. They, you know, realistically, I wouldn't say they knew they would lose this, but it would have been a, it would have taken a lot to win this match. So they're got to be coming out feeling pretty optimistic when you lose to a top-notch 6A school. They've watched this film of the the second half and give his team a confidence boost. Head coach Ryan McCormack got to be happy with what his team has done with a one-nil lead here in the second half. Manuel comes out to clean it up. As Canby will play at West Salem, another 6A school on Tuesday. West Salem off to an 0-4 start, so that's a should be a very competitive and winnable match even for Canby. And for Central Catholic, they sure, certainly flexed their muscle in that first half and showed that they are a state title contender this year. Should be a fun one Tuesday at Lincoln. Yeah, what's the, the date and time on that one again? That will be Tuesday evening at Lincoln. I believe it's a 6.30 kick on that one. Yeah, it's going to be a good match. Lincoln is unbeaten through its first four matches. Number two in the 6A coaches pool, and number 11 the OSAA. Quarterfinal team in Lincoln against a quarterfinal team last year in Central Catholic. Played in towards Talbot. Manuel's there again. Came off his line well. Nice. Sandoval. Yeah, good first touch. Yeah, plays it forward to Valdivinos Carter. Uh, Cabrera, excuse me, sprinting after it. Ernst is there. Trying to escort. and Goal kick for CC. Some savvy veteran defending. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Joey Loomis subs in for Canby. He will replace Evan Brenner for the final few minutes. It's about two minutes to go here at Delta Park. Jack Thompson able to get possession for Canby for a moment, but CC quickly going the other way with Talbot. Talbot, oh. nice move. Good first touch. Left footed cross, a slow roller cleared away by Ledesma. Canby trying to maintain this second half clean sheet. The bad news is they did give up four goals in that first half. Yeah. Fletcher hand with three of them. Here's a right-footed shot. It's wide of the net to the left from Jack Armstrong. 
ambitious effort. <laughs> Trying to get a last minute goal. Sandoval to Valdivinos Cabrera. Looking down to the near side. Plays it to Barajas. He stops, going to his right. And all the way back to Loomis. Good play out of Camby. Jimenez sends it in. Ernst knocks it back. Loomis is there again, mm. but it's over the goal line. The final product wasn't quite there, but mm -hmm. uh, more cohesive passing. Yeah, didn't see a lot of that. Strong buildup in the first half. No, and you wonder if there's a couple pieces in the defensive midfield of Central Catholic that uh, that are not out there right now that we're really doing more than we realized. Yeah. A 13. 2-2 two and two record last year. With this win here, Central Catholic will improve to three wins and one loss early on in 2023. Certainly off to a good start with only 5A number one, McKay, beating CC in the opening match of the year. That was a match the Rams felt like they definitely could have won. They relinquished a 78th minute goal. Credit to McKay. Tough loss. That's a really good squad. Gonna get a free kick just yeah. outside the area. And the penalty arc. Talbot sent to the deck. Let's see Manuel organizes <clears throat> wall here. Canby's gone all this way this half, containing Central Catholic after a four-goal first half. And now in the closing few minutes here, CC with a chance to put goal number five on the board. Just outside the box. Who's going to take it? A cluster of Rams. A squadron. <laughs> Discussion on who gets to take it here. Or maybe it's just part of their plan. Yeah, it confused us. Yeah, it did, oh, and it's a finish from what Jack. A strike. Jack Armstrong, 5-1 Central Catholic. Frozen rope. That may have been the final uh, yeah. act here. That's it. It is over. In the closing seconds, Jack Armstrong gets himself a goal. Yeah, I, I don't think Manuel got the that got the wall quite right because mm -hmm. uh, there was really no dip necessary. He he, he shot that straight into the goal. You'd mm -hmm. think that maybe the wall from right, you know, basically uh, the center of the goal, mm -hmm. just on top of the arc. So you'd think that there should have been a wall in the way, but no. Don't take anything away from the strike. He saw the space and he put it there. Well, maybe Manuel's teammates let him down a little bit there with the wall in front of him, but either way, a beautiful shot by Armstrong. And Central Catholic, you know, overall, you know, that second half, they didn't have all their starters out there. Maybe not a perfect game, but when you look at the final tally, a hat trick from Fletcher Hand, 5 1. Not a lot to complain about if you're a Rams fan. Fletcher Hand's going to score a lot of goals in this in this league, in this season. Mm -hmm. uh, and it looks like he's, he's college material. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he is still a young player for this Central Catholic team in his junior season. A first team all conference not a year ago and even better this season. Can be a, a strong effort in this one, but coming up short. What are your final takeaways from this performance by Central Catholic? Yeah, like we discussed earlier, a couple great storylines for both programs here. Canby has plenty to be proud of the way that they persevered and, and played in the second half and Central Catholic uh, you know, it's clear who they are, and they just need to, to keep this up against the stiffer competition. So a strong effort by Canby. They dropped a 1-2 and two in the season. They'll be back in action Tuesday playing at West Salem. Central Catholic gets the win. They're up to 3-1 and one in the year, and they will play Tuesday as well. A big match at Lincoln, who's number two in the 6A coaches poll. Thanks for joining us here from Delta Park. From our entire Oregon Sports Beat crew, my broadcast partner Ben Efren, I'm Chris Clayton. Central Catholic beats Canby 5-1 on the Oregon Sports Beat. Good night.